Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My name is the British Eagle, and today we are diving, flying, soaring into a brand new episode of Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age. And in the last episode, we have been continuing on our quest to just complete a lot of stuff and go back and do things that we've done previously in uh, in Dundrasil and or Eridria. And um, yeah, we've uh, we've helped out Queen Marina. We restored cobblestone. We have. Uh, protected a bunch of people we fought enemies and um i think i go this way yep and so yeah it's been really interesting now we are heading into the D uh dundrasil castle dungeons we were down here before in the alternate uh universe or i guess i don't know if you want to call it alternate universe past future um these tunnels oh wait they're not much use to anyone now but i still get a, this funny feeling that we're not alone down here let's keep our wits about us laddie yeah, so we came down here before um, when we ventured here in the past, future, whatever you want to call it. Ah, here we go. This looks familiar. <laughs> I'm starving. Give me fresh misery to feed on before I waste away. Come, despair for me. Hey, what are you doing? Leave that poor man alone. Mm, fresh meat. And delivered right to my door, no less. The Dark One is a benevolent master indeed. His return has filled me with a power greater than ever before. And he will bring about such suffering that I will feast for an eternity. Not that I haven't been enjoying the meal at hand, of course. This one's misery has sated my hunger for many a delicious year, ever since his kingdom fell. Surely not. Erwin! A great man, and a fine warrior too, and... Most importantly of all, your father. <gasps> this one's misery is just... Mm, exquisite. His kingdom ruined, his family gone, betrayed, dying alone. Which is why I've been drawing out his torture for so long. But even the most fabulous feasts must come to an end. It is time to move on to the next course. Mm. How does your despair compare, I wonder? Hold still while I sample its delights. All right, let's get it. The malicious gloom Nefor draws near, guys. Welcome to the channel. I didn't really get to say hi too much. I just kind of we jumped into this, and uh, yeah, we're just doing this thing. So I uh, hope you guys are having a good day. Welcome in. He goes, wow, he is just on the offensive right away. Um, okay, so let's see what we can do here. Um, hmm, let's see, what do we want to do? How do we want to protect the party here? I feel like our best thing to do first is I'm going to try, so I'm going to boost our speed. Let's helps. go ahead and do Accelerate real quick. Hopefully we can get Hendrik to use Kabuff. Um, do we have any boost? Uh, hmm. We could try Casnooze. I don't think it's going to work on him. He's a boss. Oh, wow. It actually worked. Brilliant. All right, so we're going to go for right as rain. Wow, we actually get a chance to set up now. This is beautiful. Oh, 
All right, so now I'm gonna go with Kabuff. I'm not taking these uh, bosses uh, lightly anymore. We're we're gonna stack our uh, stats here. Spells, let's see. Or abilities, I guess? Um, I don't really have anything else to use to prep. The only thing I could do is I could change him out for uh, Eric. And Eric could go ahead and use the... Um, yeah, he's fast asleep. Uh, he's still asleep. That's really nice. So now what we could do is we could go with... Insulate. All right, so Serena has that. Uh, it's her turn again now, so she can go with... Uh, let's go with Kabuff. Perhaps this will help. Get another defense boost. Wow, talk about crap. This is huge. All right, so now I think I can just start attacking. Um, you know what? I'm going to go for one more magic barrier. I don't want to go too much longer because these things will start to wear off. But let's go for Ridge Riser or Razor. 5, nice. Wakes up. Does he get hit again? No, just once. Okay. 78. Alright, that's no, no damage at all, really. Okay, so now we can go for... Um... Let's see. Let's go with Devil's Delight, see how much this does. Okay, not bad. I was hoping we'd get like a... Uh, We'd mesmerize him or something. Um, what do we want to do here? Um, I'm going to try and reduce the defense. Let's do it. Yep, defense decreases significantly. Here we go. Hendrick, I'm going to go for... Um, Double-edged uh, slash. Here we go. 691. It took a lot of our health, but that's all right. And then I'm going to go for Critical Claim. You ready for this? 420. Nice. Good damage. I should have gone for the Poison. I really didn't think that through. But we got 238 off that as well. Not much damage at all. That's good. Zamel. That's big damage. Okay. Not as bad as it could have been, though. Um, I am... Let's see... Hmm, what do we want to go for here? I'm going to go for the multi-heal. I feel like that's pretty useful in this moment. We've got a lot of boosts. Um, Serena, let's go for... Uh, let's go another Kabuff. No MP expended. That's beautiful. Wow. All right, Hendrix got his pep power. Let's see. I uh, can't use it yet, but um, let's go scrap metal. 681. We got a critical hit. Wow. Holy crap. We get another attack. Wow. Parallax, let's do it. 657. Yes. All right. I'm going to go with Cobra Strike. We got the poison. Nice. And oh my gosh. Wow. We almost did 300 just from poison and from the ground attack. Ammo, 165, not bad, that's fine. Your nightmares. Mm, really not bad, he only did 100 to each of us, basically. Um, wounds are healed, that's fine. Let's go with multi-heal. Nice. nice job. Grab, it's your turn. Let's go for... Uh... I'm just gonna go pearly gates. Let's do it. This is the end for you. All right, Hendrick. Here we go. Parallax. Let's get it. Six fifty one. Nice. Good job. Now he is still poisoned, so we can go for victimizer. Not gonna like this. With a lower defense, eleven thirty nine. Wow. Good job, team. Let's go. We did not did take him lightly. Right? The malicious Gloomnivore is defeated. 36,000 experience, 12,000 gold. Nice. Eric grows to level 70, our first person in the 70s. Jade, 68 with 10 skill points. Nice job, gang. We did it.
those eyes. I'd know them anywhere. Son, is it really you? It was you who saved me, wasn't it? You're back. You're back to your old self at last. <gasps> Eleanor? Our son has freed you. Despair no longer holds you captive. You are free to join me after all these years. My love, I am. My dear son. My darling boy. Many hardships await you. Many trials lie ahead. But you must not stray from your path. You must not falter. Let the light of hope, the light inside you, be your guide. And remember, we will always watch over you. Farewell, my darling. I love you so much. Goodbye, my little one. Goodbye, Erwin. I hope both of you find peace at last. Wow. Dude, if I was Trunks, I would be an absolute mess. I mean, I would be so upset, happy, sad, and everything. Um, all right, let's open these up. Wow, let's... So we get some good treasure, hopefully. Ooh! <gasps> Trunks finds Erwin's helm? Wait, we can dress up like our father? Oh my gosh. What luck, Trunks finds Erwin's armor? And... What luck, Trunks finds the princess's pledge. What? Wow. That's crazy. Dude, being back down here is insane. I remember, like, the whole story with that everything that had to do with his father protecting everyone. Ugh, dude, so sad. Erwin's helmet headgear, once worn by King Erwin, that protects against curses and elemental attacks part of Erwin's set. So right now, elemental damage taken reduced by 10%, chance of being cursed reduced by 30%. Um, we get a, wow. So if we get to plus three, we get a 10 point defense boost and another 12 point charm boost. And elemental damage reduction goes up to 20%, curse protection goes to 50. Wow, we're equipping that 100%. And then Erwin's armor. Um, now, defense goes down by 16. That's interesting. But uh, charm goes up by a lot. Holy crap. Um, elemental damage taken reduced by 10%. Uh, curse, 30%. So we can, with both of these pieces of armor, the curse and elemental damage are reduced by, what, 40% and curse is 100%? Wow. And the defense goes up by a lot as well. Dude, this is sick. We got a new outfit. Daddy's boy. <gasps> Okay, that's pretty cool. I know it looks very similar to the Dracillian armor. It's actually almost the exact same, but this is actually our dad's armor. Wow. That's so cool. We got to wear that for a little bit. Oh, man, that's sick. Look at this. Oh, my gosh, that's amazing. What was the other thing we grabbed, by the way? 
princess's pledge, a symbol of the love of a Dracillian royal for the son who was stolen from her. So I wonder what that goes towards. Um, I don't know, but we got sick armor on us, so let's get out of here. Let's go talk to the guy who was outside. Maybe we give him something, or now he can explore the dungeon? I don't know. Weird. Dude, this story has been insane. Like, I'm so glad, by the way, uh, and I, I I don't know if I've said this enough, but I need to thank you guys a lot. Obviously, I need to thank you guys, everyone that's been watching this series, smashing the like button, showing support to these videos, but also the advice to come back to do all these things we've done before. Um, I'm kind of silly and didn't think about it myself, honestly. I thought we'll just progress the story, but no, it's been great doing this. Sounds like that awful voice has shut up at last. Was that something to do with you? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I've decided to give the old treasure hunting game a rest. I'm leaving the ghost of Dunderstill in peace for now. All right, sounds good, my dude. Sounds good. Well, what is through here? The gate is locked. Okay. Um. Huh, interesting. What can we do now? So I'm trying to think. So we wanted to go see our father um what was the other thing in the comments let me pull up the comments again so yggdrasil uh, oh that's right we want to go see sylvando's dad uh because speaking of fathers let's go to puerto valor let's do it oh man how cool is this we got new armor for trunks i've still got to upgrade our weapons and everything i i've there's still so much more that I need to do. Um, <laughs> it's just gonna take a while, apparently. Wow. Puerto Valor. I have fond memories of this city. I trained here under Don Rodrigo. It has changed little over the years. This place made me the knight I am today. The training was rigorous and the conditions harsh. But Don Rodrigo was a fine teacher and a fine man. Okay, darlings, you have fun now. I need to go and uh, powder my horse. <clears throat> Ciao for now. Silvando, wait. You are Don Rodrigo's son. Roberto, I have long suspected as much. You found out my little secret, huh? Nice work, Inspector Hendrick. I guess I should be flattered you even remember me from back then. Oh. Why? I do not understand. Why would such a diligent boy, one so committed to the knightly cause, abandon it so utterly? Your father must surely disapprove. This is why you are leaving, correct? You mean to avoid him? <sighs> At a time like this, you would put your personal concerns over those of your companions? Erdwin's lantern hangs low in the sky. Our world is in danger. If we are to have a hope of overcoming what awaits us, we will need your father's wisdom and experience. You will need it. Mm. Okay, okay, you're right, I guess. Papi does have a trick or two I always wanted him to teach me. Now's probably the time. Hmm. I've made up my mind, darling. I'm going to face my puppy. But I can't walk into that room alone. Will you come with me? Yes, let's do it. I knew you wouldn't let me down. All right, prepare for a heartwarming scene of reconciliation. It's funny, because when we came to Puerto Valor originally, uh, the very first time, Silvando did this before. He was like, oh, I don't want to come here. This is not what I want to do. And obviously, Hendrik wasn't here then, because he was considered our enemy at the time. And so now that he's here with us, he's able to obviously convince uh, Silvando to come with us. So, yeah, kind of cool. I, I like this. Espere, senor, please wait. These are the chambers of Don Rodrigo. 
He is recovering from an injury at the moment. Is your business truly urgent enough to warrant disturbing his convalescence? See? Si? Eh? Okay. But I must ask you not to distress Don Rodrigo in any way, por favor. Uh, hi, puppy! Caramba! Norberto, you dare to show your face in my presence! And you have come to tell me something, see? I... I'm so sorry, Papi! Sorry, 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 sorry! So, so sorry! Sorry? <laughs> what are you apologizing for, foolish boy? Huh? You have become the knight in smiling armor you spoke of, see? You have made the whole world happy! <sighs> Not yet, Papi. Then why are you here, hmm? Why did you come back if you have not yet done as you promised? You promised you would do this, Norberto. You gave your word. I did not raise you to be a failure. How dare you come to me and... Puppy! Damn you, boy. If I were younger, I would put you over my knee. What kind of a knight makes an oath and does not fulfill it? Wait. Puppy, did you say... knight? You still think of me as one? You have no idea how... Oh, thank you, Puppy! Thank you! I guess it wasn't very knightly of me to come back before I'd fulfilled my promise, huh? But I had a good reason. Erdwin's lantern, see? Yes. Great evil is afoot. I feel it. I feel it too, Papi. We all do. And how can I make people happy if that thing is up there making their lives miserable? It's impossible. Which is why I'm going to do something about it. Only then can I fulfill my vow and make all the people of the world smile again. But there's just one teensy weensy little thing we need to ask you. We want you to help us. Don Rodrigo, an ill wind blows through the world. We would call upon your wisdom. We would ask for your aid in banishing the darkness. <laughs> you walk in here after all these years and start asking favors before you even say hello, Hendrik. As clumsy as ever, I see. Very well. You shall have my aid. If I can help you to erase the dark star from the sky, I will. Oh, Papi! Really? Como no, Norberto, of course! A knight serves the weak untiringly. Even if they are his son and his former pupil. I have just the thing to toughen you two up. A great trial that has tested the skills of knights across the generations. A great trial, Don Rodrigo. For you to call it such, it must be a test indeed. Oh, it is. <laughs> you have been to Eliador, see? Then you know the King's Barrow. Two golden giants dwell in its darkest depths. You will defeat them. But mere victory will not suffice. No, you must show true unity, true chivalry. You must perform the executioner together. And with its strike, the final blow. 
If you succeed, you will be rewarded with one of the most powerful weapons ever created. With that weapon to aid you, not even the greatest of evils will stand in your way. Oh my, that sounds like quite a prize. Very well, Poppy. Challenge accepted. You always did have enthusiasm to spare, Norberto. I hope it will be enough. I will open the King's Barrow for you. After that, you're on your own. Interesting. So is the King's Barrow what I think it is? Is that the place we couldn't get into this entire time? So we need to go... Oh, what did he say? He said it was Heliodor... And it was, um... Let's, let's talk to him again just to make sure we understand, because I don't want to mess this up again. So he said, Two golden giants dwell within the depths of Heliodor's King's Barrow. It must be defeated. Uh, but mere victory will not suffice. No, Nirberto. And Hendrik must show true unity. They must perform the exec executioner together, and with it, strike the final blow that fells each beast. However, in order to perform this greatest of techniques, Hendrik must first learn to perform Hatchet Man with an axe, and Norberto must learn to perform Metal Slash with a sword. If they succeed, they will be rewarded with one of the most powerful weapons ever created. I wish you both luck, my caballeros. Buena swear suerte. Okay, so hold on just a merry second. Swords. Do you have the, the thing we need? Oh, it's all the way up there. Ugh. All right, uh, let's do this. It costs six. Uh, this one costs seven. So Metal Slash is what I need. We already have Hatchet Man. So now we get Executioner as a pep power. Okay, nice. So then we need to go to... Uh, so Heliodor Kingsbarrow. Let's go to Heliodor City. We've got to get the pep power for Hendrik and for Sylvando, though. And there's two giants that dwell there. And you have to use the pep power for both of them on, uh, what's it called? On both of the giants. So, interesting. Okay, um... Question, do we already have pep power for these guys? Oh, we do, perfect. Wow, that works out beautifully. I did not expect that, all right. Um, real quick before we head out, let's go heal real fast. We are low on MP, so let's do that. And then let's head towards the King's Barrow, which is not on here, right? Yeah, so it's not here. So let's go this way. And let's head towards the place that will heal us. And... Um, Wait, is that it? Is it here? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, right here. Rest a while till the morning or till dawn. All right, so we'll heal up, get our MP back, and then we'll head outside of Heliodor. All right, perfect. So let's see. Yep, team's looking good. We've got the pep power for Sylvando and for Hendrik right off the bat, so they can use Executioner. We learned the pep power as well, so that's pretty nice. Now we've got to find the King's Barrow. I I think that's the underground thing, right? Um, hmm. Where is the King's Barrow? I may need to honestly look this up. Uh, horse Hailer. Okay, where was the King's Barrow? So, real quick, before we do anything, where is the King's Barrow? In uh, Dragon Quest 11. I want to see where this is because I don't remember. The south of the Emerald Coast. Um, yeah, where is this thing? I'm trying to remember where we went to get here. Um, the King's Barrow. Sorry, guys. I just want to see if I can figure out where this is. The King's Barrow. Located to the south of the Emerald Coast. But where is the Emerald Coast? I don't remember. <laughs> where is the Emerald Coast? All right, hold on. Now let's look up. Where is the Emerald Coast? <laughs> In Dragon Quest XI. So I had to look up one thing. 
um, is in an area of land east of the Heliodor region. <laughs> oh, it's literally on our map. <laughs> I've got the map up the whole time. I'm not looking at the map, and it's sent... Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> oh boy, that was great. Uh, hey, listen, I'm here for the entertainment. You know, if... Listen, I am doing my best to entertain, and I did that on purpose. I totally knew where the Emerald Coast was. I had every clear intention of going this way. I, I knew what I was doing. I never, ever, ever questioned where to go. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and ride down here. Now, I will probably, once I've completed some of these missions, I, I am going to spend probably the start of next episode or the episode after that, we will spend time forging our weapons up to plus three. What I might actually do, and I haven't decided yet, but I may just end up doing it off screen as you guys have already seen me do forging stuff before. So I'm not entirely sure if you guys will want to watch me again. I may just do the forging and then I'll show you guys the weapons at the start of the episode after I've done it off screen, if that makes sense. So we'll see. I don't know. I'll think about it, but uh, we definitely need to do some forging upgrades uh, or reworking, I should say. So the Emerald Coast. All right. So let me snag this real quick. Antidotial herb. Perfect for not using because I literally don't use that item ever. Uh, the King's Barrow. So let's go this way. It should be around here somewhere. Uh, King's Barrow. Where are you? Okay. So you just follow, literally just follow the path. All right. So we follow the path down here right there it is yep we found it oh man i was definitely gonna get lost finding this thank god i looked it up for a second all right so here we go we found it the king's barrow getting stuck against the wall or oh no it just doesn't want us to take the horse all right here we are the king's barrow let's do it so there's some uh some enemies we have to fight using executioner now i gotta make sure before we go into the battle we have to have um, Sir Hendrick and... Oh, crap. It's going to take us right in, isn't it? No, it doesn't. All right. Let's change the lineup now. So, Trunks there. Sylvando there. And we're good. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, there's a staircase here. There should be... I'm assuming we'll have to just go all the way to the end of the cave like we did last time we were here. Wow. It's been forever since we came down here. This is crazy. Um, oh, what? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I remember exploring this last time. Um, so how did we do this again? I really don't remember. It's been quite a while, honestly. Uh, this is a dead, no, it's not. You go through here. Uh, why? Well, I think we actually just go this way and then go here we go this way and we go down here nice all right so we go this way and we go down this way keep heading down oh my gosh this is a cycle of just never-ending steps and there's these guys do we need them no, we don't, but here they are. Here's the guys we need to fight. Uh, let's get it. They seem to be asking if you're here for the trial. They seem to be saying they are the trial. They seem to be saying they can only be beaten by using the executioner. They look ready to fight to the bitter end. They seem to be asking if you're ready. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. Let's do it. They seem to be telling you to get ready. They seem grimly determined to just grind you into dust. Well, let's see what they've got, man. I mean, listen, I'm ready to go. The question right. is, am I going to be allowed to just use the executioner right away? Wait, why? Oh, no. I bet you have to equip a sword. You have to equip a sword, and I still have the whip equipped. Oh, no. Uh, crap. What do I do then? I can't win this, right? I, I lose. Wait, no, no, wait, hold on. Equipment. Wait, hold on. I can just literally equip a sword. Thank God. All right, our attack's going to go down a lot. Let's just find the best sword we can equip. 
Um, I think that's it. Oh, Sword of Judgment. Uh, let's just go with, like, I don't know. Honey Slayer, Helidorian, Platinum Sword. Uh, let's go Helidorian Sword, and then... Wait, what? No Executioner? Why would that not... Wait, why can I not do it? Huh. Okay. Well, then I guess I'll just go Accelerattle? Uh, I thought I'd be able to use it. Maybe it's got to be Hendrick? All right, let's see. Hendrick? There we go. So... Okay, I guess we'll try this. Wait, it missed? Wait, what? So, wait, what? Why did that not work? I'm so confused. Hold on. I'm so confused. All right, Kabuff. I got to figure out what we're doing wrong here. Is that only when they're down to, like, no health? That has to be it, right? Oh, man, I messed it up. I thought it, I thought, like, maybe, ah. All right, well, I learned. We just have to do lots of damage, or try to, and uh, then get our pet powers back. Uh, that sucks, man. I mean, all right, let's just do Gold Rush. And then I might even use just the, I might use the Pep Pop now that I'm thinking about it. Didn't I give one to, I swear I gave one to a couple of people. So we'll use the Pep Pop when needed. Um, I'm gonna go with, don't we have Oomphal on you? No, we don't. Uh, Kasap, let's do that. Item. Nope, we did not upgrade your update your items. Nice. Um Alright, well let's just uh I guess I guess basically it's gonna take them down to like no health, and then once you get them really low, then it's I guess gonna allow you to I don't know, finish them? I don't know. Uh no. Okay, well that's fine, I guess. Alright. Uh, let's go with Kabuff again, just to prep, just so that we can beat these guys. 392, wow. Holy crap. 85. Uh, let's go stun double, let's try this. I might as well, I mean, I've got Pep Pop on Trunks at least, so... All right, good damage. Nice. I'll take that. Uh, let's go with spells. Let's go full heal on Hendrick. Don't worry. I'm here to help. My thanks. And then I'm going to go Parallax on this one. Okay, so he's almost dead, it looks like. I think. It seemed like the way he moved there, he was almost dead. No, they're not low on health. Okay, weird. Um, I'm just gonna go for a Pearly Gates. Okay. Let's go for Gold Rush. Parallax on Tweedledoom. 686, nice. Okay, so he's weak. So then, um... Hmm. Uh, full heal. Uh, actually, mm, no, let's go multi-heal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna switch her out um, for Trunks, because I'm gonna use the Pep Pop now that we can buy them. And I also knew know how to use the the technique of um, stealing those drinky shield things or whatever they're called. Uh, using those to be able to um, uh, what's it called? Um, what am I thinking of? Steal the shields and then sell a bunch of them. So let's go ahead and use. Yeah, we've got Pep Pop here. So I'm gonna. Well, but the problem is, is like, I think that's the only one we have. 
Ah, oh, it's so annoying. Um, I mean, I... no, I think someone else has pep pop. I I equipped more than one, so let's go ahead and use the pep pop. Let's do it. All right. So now the question is. Will it work on these guys? If it doesn't work, then we'll tr just have to get out of the battle and... Oh, God. Don't die, guys. Please. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, spells. Multi-heal. Nice. Good. All right. Now, here's the thing. This guy is in the red or, like, the orange. I think this will work now. Where is it? Executioner. I think this will work. This should kill him, right? Okay, so we killed one of them. Nice. Now, we have to do that again, right? So Hendrik has to get pep power again to finish this one. Um, okay, so... If I go with Gold Rush, this should take him into the yet red or the orange for health. And then I just need to get Hendrik's pep power again. So let me change the lineup to... I think it's Jade? Is Does it she turn? maybe have it? Uh, just to help us out for right now, I'm going to go ahead and use... Um, snooze. Let's see if we can put him to sleep. No, we missed. Shoot. Um... Wait, did I give it to Hen... No, I did not. Okay, so... Let's go with Kabuff. Not give in. Dang, 420, that's a lot of damage. A 420. <laughs> Seismic shock, that's gonna hurt. Holy moly. So Vando got knocked down. Oh my goodness. I did not give you a pep. Man, this might take a while. Um Defend, okay. Uh, let's go spells. Full heal on Hendrik. Full heal. You know what? I need to switch Jade out and find the other person that does have um, what I'm looking for. So spells. Um, let's heal up Sylvando. Four hundred again? Oh my God! Why? <laughs> Holy crap! All right, Jade. So I need to switch you out. I swear someone had the the other pet pop. Me, eh? There was another one we gave to someone. <sighs> Man, where is it? All right, so let's go Gold Rush. Let's get him into the red. So he's now weak, but. Yeah, so he's exactly where we want him to be before we use Executioner. So if we use Executioner now, we'd be fine. Um, you don't have it, so let's switch you out as well. Who else had it? Was it Eric, Here maybe? Goes nothing. Oh, God. Oh, God. 400. Can you chill, dude? Please don't. All right, well, Eric's dead. That's a nice. Nice. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks. Good one. Uh... That's annoying. Um. Accelerattle, I guess. Uh, does she have the ability to revive people? I don't know that she does. Oh, she does. Yep, that's right. Oh, there we go. Great timing. We don't even need the pep pop now. Executioner, come on. Please work. This would be such good timing. Please. Let's freaking go. We did it. Oh, my God. That is amazing. That worked out so well. We did have to use a pep pop, but we can buy more. It's going to take a lot of Victory grinding, but we've beat... Tweedle Doom and Tweedle Death are defeated. 15,000 experience, 1,500 gold. Let's freaking go. Not bad, Mr. Hero of Heliodor. My papi taught you well. I do not need your approval, minstrel. 
But you did not do so badly yourself. <laughs> Your father was clearly a constructive influence on us both. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Speaking of Papi, where is this amazing weapon he said we'd get for winning, huh? Don Rodrigo. <laughs> so, you completed the trial, eh? Caramba! I was convinced you weaklings would disappoint me. <laughs> Don't come the haughty night with us, mister. You're the one who lied about us getting some special weapon for taking your stupid trial. It was no lie. You have the weapon. The greatest weapon of all. Oh, and what is that supposed to mean, huh? Stop speaking in riddles and hand over the goods, will you? Don Rodrigo, this weapon, it is not fashioned from steel or bronze, am I correct? <laughs> Muy bien, Hendrik. Your reward for completing the trial was the experience of collaboration. To work together with one's brothers in chivalry is a knight's greatest weapon. Trust in your fellow knight. Put your faith in him as he does in you. Do so, and hidden strengths will reveal themselves. Together, we are more than the sum of our parts. United, we can stand against any foe, overcome any obstacle. This is the gift I give to you. <gasps> what the? My... What? <gasps> oh, we get new skills on the skill tree. Chivalry and fraternity skills. So chivalry for Silvando, fraternity for Hendrik. Yes, let's go. have taken the first steps on the path of the night. But you have far to go. Perhaps if you lean on one another enough, one day you will make it all the way. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love this. Hey, you can't just say that and leave. You have to join us. J join you? But I cannot. I... I Wait. Uh, uh, weren't you the one just giving the speech about knights needing to stick together? Three knights are better than two, no? And I also seem to remember you saying something about doing everything you could to help us erase the dark star from the sky. A knight's word is his bond. Ugh. Join us, Don Rodrigo. With your mastery to guide us, we shall surely be unstoppable. No way. Oh, very well. I will not join you on your quest, but call for my aid and I will be there. Just do not call too often. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I love that. That was so good. Sylvando and Hendrik can now use the Who's the Daddy pep power. Oh my gosh, so that... <laughs> so Who's the Daddy pep power is literally us calling uh, Don Rodrigo. Oh my god, that is honestly awesome. Pep Star, awarded for joining forces with your friends to perform 100 pep powers. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And that's where the orb was originally. Wow. So cool. Holy crap. All right. Well, um, man, we have done so much. The I completely forgot about the Drustin uh, trials, honestly. Um, where to go now? Let me see if there's anything else I can look up. Um, you guys have given me a ton of really, really good advice. So you guys told me to do Cobblestone. We did that. Heliodor. We did, um, the, uh, um, what's it called? We saw our father. We helped uh, Gemma. We let me think. 
Um, looking through the comments to see if there's anything else. I mean, we went to Queen Marina. I think we've done quite a few things here. I'm not really sure. I know you guys have said to just go back and do a lot of the things that you can think you think of what you did before. But I'm not trying to redo the whole game, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so I don't know, guys. I think that's going to be it for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom to uh, Cobblestone. We're going to go there. Um, we may walk around, look around to see if there's any missing items we've missed or anything. Um, I guess what I'm going to do is off screen, um, I will go ahead and probably do a lot of reworking of items. Oh, you know what? Wait, no, hold on. Hold the phone. I just thought of one last thing we can do this episode. I don't know how I didn't think of this before. We got some medals to redeem. What was I thinking? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we'll go redeem these medals and then off screen after this episode ends, because we'll end it after the medals, we will go ahead. I'll do some reworking of the weapons. We'll get them all the plus three. Uh, we have so much money now, it doesn't matter. We can buy as many perfectionist pearls as needed. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then I guess once all those weapons are plus three, I'm not really sure what else to do. I feel like we've gone back and done everything we really needed to do. There's quests that give you new items and stuff, but I don't know. I guess... Anyway, here we go. I see that you have brought me eight mini medals. Magnifique. Allow me to stamp your album. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. What do we get? Spiked armor. Okay, not bad. All right, uh, your reward for collecting 55 stamps is a suit of spiked armor, a maximally magnificent prize indeed. Oh, we're too many medals away. Oh. Keep seeing many medals coming, and when you totally reach 60, I will reward you with a miracle sword. Now, isn't that a maximum magnificent prize? All right, so guys, yeah, this is going to be it. I'm going to leave it right here. We're going to hang out with my dude here to end the episode. But guys, thank you so much for your support. As always, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments on what you guys think should happen next. Make sure uh, to spread those positive vibes, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. But until next time, I'm out. Peace.